Nityanam guys, welcoming you back with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Tyaga. So Swamiji has been talking a lot about Tyaga and Tyaga is something that I've always liked. Um, of course, actually, initially I had the wrong understanding of what is Tyaga. Tyaga is normally translated as like sacrifice or renunciation. But, uh, but in English, this idea of sacrifice and renunciation is kind of negative. You know, you have to lose something you like or you have to... It has this kind of, uh, I don't want to do it kind of feeling uh, associated to it. But Swamiji says that is not Tyaga. Tyaga is, uh, it's a conscious resource, actually. Um, for me, for some reason, one of the main reasons why I got connected to Lord Shiva was um, envisioning uh, Shiva... Uh, Bolinat in the smashana in the sacred grounds covered in ashes uh, naked covered in ashes and he's just sitting there blissful and he's basically untouched by everything in the world and for me that was a very strong visualization which I strongly connected to Tiaga and which made me feel really connected to uh, Swamiji and to Lord Shiva because of this dimension of this Tiagi this ultimate Tiagi and initially, obviously, I thought, you know, you had to separate yourself from the world and all that. I had my own understandings. But Swamiji made me realize that, no, it's not like that. Um, it's a space that you carry within yourself. And when you engage with the world, with life, um, you cherish this space and you operate from that space all the time. So you are untouched and you remain blissful all the time. One of the main blind spots, which... Uh, I was also strongly influenced because before meeting Swamiji, I used to study about it, uh, Buddhism and, uh, and I picked it up from there. But it was really this idea, this very life negative idea to withdraw yourself from the society, from the people and do your own thing uh, and, you know, seek liberation uh, by yourself and secluded from everything. And so this idea was very strongly uh, instilled in me. But when I met Swamiji, and I, um, and I started to realize that, no, we have to engage with life. And Swamiji, even now, he's, he's sharing a lot about how that is actually one of the biggest patterns and blind spot of Hinduism, Hindus itself. It is this pattern of not engaging with life, um, using various conclusions or cognitions to justify that. But that is life negative and that should not be cherished. We have to engage with life, but from a non-violent way. And Swamiji was talking about how um, terrorism and conversion, for instance, is like a... How it clicked with me was like, it is like an, a violent, aggressive behavior, but expressed externally, pushed onto what is happening outside of us. Whereas um, not engaging with life and withdrawal is the same violence, but experienced internally. So Anji was referring to uh, this, um, I don't remember exactly, but this idea of um, conversion and um, terrorism and suicidal. It is the same kind of, it's the same violence, but experienced in two various dimensions, which are opposite. And both of them are against life. And that is not, um, that is not, non, that is not the space of nonviolence. The space of nonviolence is being active enriching, sharing, raising our cognitions and the cognitions of people with whom we live and raising the environment in which we are by constantly enriching and sharing powerful cognitions, life positive, powerful life positive cognitions. And, and like that, raising the level of the lifestyle and uh, raising our inner space and the frequencies from which we operate and all that. So that, that was very, very powerful, I, found, I, I find, for, especially for me, because I used to be also very much life negative uh, in terms of this idea of withdrawal was very something that I thought was great. But now I'm realizing that that is not. And this, this whole thing is, is it's, it's a space of Tiaga. So even if you are engaged, you do not have to, uh, you, you should not be attached to what is happening. Uh, whatever is presented in front of you, if it is required, you know, you're not attached, you're not into it, you're not, you can, you can, if, 
you can drop it for the sake of... Swamiji was saying, one thing that is very important in, this cons in the principle of Tyaga is that you need to do Tyaga from the space of Paramashivoham, means I am Paramashiva. You're not doing Tyaga for many other reasons. For instance, if you have stomach issues, then you decide to Tyaga the food. You say, okay, for some time I won't eat. Why? Because I'm Paramashiva. I don't need food to exist. Food is not required for my existence. And since my body is reacting in a weird way and not functioning properly, I will, I will tyaga food until the body restores itself and, and like that. So the, the space from which we decide to make tyaga has to be from a space of I am Paramashiva, I am beyond this and I am not bound by these things which we uh, normally, thinks we, uh, normally think we are bound by, for instance, food, sleep, relationships, you know, wealth, all these things. Um, that doesn't mean we can't have them, but if they start to become the source of a problem, then to restore the balance and to heal that problem, we should tyaga them um, until the restoration happens. And in that process, from my experience, we get a lot of completion, a lot of awareness, consciousness gets infused in us, our, I would say our consciousness gets awakened and we start to identify the thought currents, the patterns which were responsible for our um, inc or improper relationship with whatever it was, whether it was food, whether it is sleep, whether it is people, whether it is wealth, whatever it is. So this principle of Tyaga is really, Swamiji was saying, Paramashiva is Tyaga Raja, he's the king of Tyagis, he's the king of Tyaga. So uh, that space of Tyaga is very important. You know, if, some, if suddenly you, you have fear, then you should tyaga that fear so you can restore your space and continue to be active and alive and do things in your in your day-to-day -day life. If you're angry, then you should tyaga the anger so that you do not destroy the relationships and whatever project you are in too, um, and all these things. So this principle of tyaga should be constantly, constantly contemplated on and... Uh, implemented from the space of Paramashiva, not from any other reasons. The only reason why we do Tyaga is because I am Paramashiva. And why, why would I be bothered by anger or fear? I am Paramashiva. Anger and fear is such a silly thing. How can I, how can I think that these things have power over me? That is not true. So from that powerful, simple, innocent space, we do Tyaga and we make everything successful around us by doing that. And um, so that was one of the major click I got and I wanted to share that with you. So then again, uh, thank you for watching all these videos and supporting uh, this science to be shared and experienced by all. And um, write a comment below if you have your own un questions perhaps or uh, understanding of Tiaga or experience of Tiaga. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Again, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell icon to know whenever I upload a video. And uh, inviting you to check the Nitya and the Media House in Kailash also. Um, I have not uploaded uh, recently, but stay tuned because that's where... Um, actually, now I'm uploading the Nyana Padadis here, there, and I will continue the series over there. And, uh, and also music when time. Say so I'm kind of, because I, uh, if you guys have been following my latest videos, I'm learning music creation. And uh, the thing is that because I have no musical background, I don't have any of the basic understanding of the, uh, the theory of music. So when it comes to making melodies and stuff like that, because recently I was working with instruments, uh, making instrumental music for, for songs, and uh, so like that, I'm kind of learning, you know, which keys go with what and it's like all this theory, which I am not at all familiar with. So I'm getting familiar with that. So because of that, many things are on pause. I don't want to produce something which is kind of not adequate also. There was a, so in that way, there's few things, some, some different types of homeworks I need to complete in order to make sure that everything is fine. So, but stay tuned on that channel, nice, entertaining, powerful cognition related content will be shared and uh, yes with this i'll see you in the next video nityandam
she will.